Queens, it's Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgets. Over here we do all things planning, all things money, lifestyle, and so much more. In this video, I will be showing you my planner lineup for the rest of this year and into next year. So, if that is something that you may be interested in, stay tuned. Previously, I released a video about my mid-year planner and sticker haul part one. If you have not seen that video, I will link it up at the top and you guys can go back and watch that and see my planner and sticker haul for that video. In this video, I am switching it up for this year. Um, as far as my planners, I just wanted to do something different. And um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. I normally purchase my planners in July for the next year. This year, I decided to switch it up. I'm going to show you the planners that I normally purchase every year. I normally purchase this Flyboss planner. She is um, a Black-owned company, and I decided last year, no, two years ago, that I would be supporting her. I love this. This is everything that... I wanted in my planner, you know, to when I decided to go ahead and launch my planner, like lunch, launch it. But it's the hardcover, the ring. I love it and how big it is. Some people think that it was too big, but I really love her planner. The layout was something that I liked. It had the horizontal layout. The calendar spread was, you know, kind of huge. And I, I really liked it. And this book normally costs me I think it was like $127 but when I went on her site she didn't have any available she was sold out of the blue ones and she also had pink ones that she have but you have to pre-order those and I guess I kind of missed that I'm not sure how because I always check often because I've been waiting on that pink one so I can order it but she was out so what I decided to do instead of waiting till later on this year i decided to take that 127 dollars and do something different with it i wanted to i guess i decided to um, support someone else so i was looking for planners i could never find one that i actually like now if you know someone with good planners you know they are hardcover they can be spiral i'm i'm good with that i love spiral i know some people are not into spiral but I am a planner chick and when it comes to like my everyday planner, I like to use what I like, you know? Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be happy planner. So I was going to, I went to Hobby Lobby trying to find a set of stickers. I think I was looking for, I think some box stickers. I was looking for one of the mega packs and I went to Hobby Lobby and they didn't have the mega pack. So I said, look, let me go and look at um, Agenda 52. Now, as you see in the video, I showed you some of their line that they had at my Hobby Lobby. Now, they didn't have much in the store, but it was enough for me to pick out and look and see what I want. Now, I always purchase agenda 52 stickers because i love their stickers they are a good price point for what you get you get plenty of stickers and they are great they're cute the colors are you know they pop so this video i will be doing a review on agenda 52 now, I will be also showing you some stickers that I purchased as well, and I'll be giving you the price point because we are all about saving money over here, and I know some people may want to get into planning and, you know, just keeping up with their life, being consistent with things in their life, and I feel like planning is the way to do it. So, I decided to pick up a few planners just to show you guys that you can plan even on a budget and you can get some nice planners. So, let's jump right into it. All right, so what I'm going to do, I have um, some sticker books from Agenda 52, and then I also have my Happy Planners, as well as some planners. I'm going to put the planners to the side to talk to you guys about those in a few minutes. 
So let's go over these Agenda 52s. As you guys can see, the price point is excellent. So I purchased these for four. I didn't purchase them for $4.99. Let me back up because you guys know I ball on a budget and I have no shame in that because I'm all about saving money when I can and where I can. Um, and like I said, I was only working with $127 that I really said I was going to spend all my planners for this year. So I just took it and put it all in one. So this book here is was priced for... $4.99 originally. I did not pay $4.99. I got this on sale for, um, I want to say it was $3. Let me look at my receipt to be exact. It was, I want to say it was under $3.50. I know it was, I know it's under $3.50. I know. Um, because I went to Hobby Lobby and they had a sale on All Paper Studio and Happy Planners. I think it was 40% off. <clears throat> so I picked up a few of the sticker books in which I always do when I go to Hobby Lobby. I'm always looking for that sale so I can get, you know, my 50% off because I like to purchase what I and want. So this has 15 full sheets. Um in this book and it has 473 pieces. That is a lot for $3.50. Even at the regular price, it is still, you know, a good deal. So when you can catch Hobby Lobby when they're having a 40% off, pick up you some, thing, some things. You guys will love it. If you got to buy one at a time, you don't have to buy a lot like I did, but I know I had that $100 set aside just for my planners for this year. All right, so we're going to get into it, but let me go over this one as well. So this one was priced at $8.99, and I paid $5 and some change for this one, guys. When I tell you the price point is excellent. So you guys can run over there right now. That sale is on till the end of the week. I think they go on go on until Monday. I think their sale is Monday to Monday, but don't quote me. It may be different in certain areas. I'm not sure, but we will compare it to um, the Happy Planner. Now, it looks like the Happy Planner is a little bit thicker and it is definitely taller. It's definitely taller. I'm put it on top here. It is taller as far as the height, but the width, as you guys can see, um, Agenda 52 is a little bit wider. Okay, um, but in this book, you get 30 sheets and then you get um, 1,146 pieces in a sheet in this book, which that is still good because the book is so small and it is not as thick as Happy Planner, but I wanna say it's kind of the same size. Or what you guys think? Let me see if I can measure it this way. So it feels like Happy Planner is a little bit taller. But as far as the price point, guys, we're going to say this again. This is great. You cannot miss on that. So I picked up an animal print foil. I picked up the girls. And this also have 30 sheets, but it has 862. I picked up an everyday planning. And then I also picked up girl. Now this is girl and this this one is girls. And I, I picked up this one because of the fashion items. I saw um, a book on, who made it? I think it was Wrong Wrong that I want and I think I'm still gonna purchase it but I'm going to save up for those. Um, it, it's called Fashion for Wrong Wrong and it is it's nice. I love, yeah, I love stickers, period. But I really love that book. And um, that is what we have for the stickers. I'm not sure if I should do a flip through, but I think I will. And I also purchased this one. This is a home life for, um, for 15 pages with 660 
54. Now, Agenda 52, you don't hear a lot of people talking about that because everybody is so into Happy Planner. Happy Planner, I love Happy Planner. I have Happy Planners. I use Happy Planners, but this year I start decided to switch it up because I wanted to you know, just see if I can get a feel of something else that I like. But so far, I am happy with my purchases. I will flip through here real quick to let you guys see, just in case you want to go and purchase these. Don't mind this. This is where the stickers had had the package closed. And when I took it off, I'm, I'm not sure how I took it off, but it left this sticky residue. But I'm just going to get some alcohol and clean that off. So this have your little icons up top, your appointment stickers, meeting, do later, do now. And then it, this one says, um, messy bun, don't care. It's in a gold foil, plan all day. It's good to be home, make it happen. Planner's gonna plan and then you have some smaller icons here. And it says adulting is hard, I have to agree with that. Um, then you have some more icons and then some more stickers with cute foils you have to do, I'm so busy um hello weekend meeting appointment and these are so cute i love their colors all the time and all of their books they be so vibrant and these are paper stickers in here right here so we have the same thing as the front almost but these are follow-up um but first mascara i know my daughter will love this because she loves her mascara these are your icon stickers and then you have some more stickers down here and these are for hearts and these are cute and this is marble black and marble pink with gold that is so cute and here these are transparent stickers and uh, i'm just gonna hold it up a little bit so you can see the little shine they are gold foil transparent and i love this and i think this is why i actually picked this book up because i flipped through and saw this i like to flip through now if you are going to buy your sticker books make sure you try to flip through at least the bottom to try to get a glimpse of the bottom half but i really love this especially this travel day that was in gold i love that in the laundry day they are smaller icons for your smaller planners now you can put these in your mini happy planners or any kind of your A5s or anything, these could fit in there. So I was looking for something that I could fit in my A5 planners as well if I decide to get a mini planner, but I don't think I will because I have enough planners for this year. And here are some more icons and these are so freaking cute. So these, this is a date night, me time, and they are all in gold foil. I'm so loving this. And then this is a volunteer. I don't think I've ever seen a volunteer sticker in under my sticker books. So I like that just in case you like to go volunteer somewhere. That is cute. And these are some washi tapes and they are also paper. And this is a marble and they have foil on these as well. Oh, and here's an AM and PM. That's cute too. And then you have your icon sticker. These are dollar signs. So you can use this for your payday. If you would like to put those on your monthly spread or in your weekly spread that would be so cute and y'all look at this this is so pretty i love the way these colors are put together the pink and green really pops with the pastel um pink and green so this is more like a pastel coral i guess but with the gold in it it is perfect and these are also transparent stickers as well um and then you have your little boxes here your little to-do boxes or you know whatever you want to use those for then you have your icon stickers so this book is packed with some cute stickers guys and i'm just going to flip through and see what else we have we have more appointment volunteer follow-up meeting to do and more appointment stickers i love the appointment stickers that you have because i do have a lot of appointments sometime and then this is the bills bills due and then you have to do goals, notes, and then it continues with the same thing. Um, and then you have some more washi tape. So that is a great bargain for under $3.50. And I'm going to flip through this one really quick. This is our everyday planning, guys. And I am definitely going to get to the planner. So I'm just going to flip through here. And I do too much talking. But... Y'all, I really love this. I said I wasn't going to do too much talking, but here I am. Okay, so you have your go full. So I'm thinking that this one may be a smaller version of this book. So this is the everyday planning, and this is the home life. So it looks like it's a smaller version of everything that's in there. So this is your party central here. And then you have your small icons. I love the um, nail polish. I can use this for 
my nail appointments and then this to do done stickers then you have your flights your location your shopping bags your gift your envelopes for emails or you can use it for happy mail and then this is basically your quote and this is why i got this book because of the rx so i can remember to pick up my prescriptions um i seen some stickers from another sticker maker and they just had um a sheet that has um prescription refill so instead of buying that sheet for i think it was four dollars and fifty cents maybe it was five dollars i could just purchase this whole book and use this for the whole year so um and one thing that i do like about these which is not in this book that these books can be used for two planners so and i'll explain that later on in the video as we get to those other books um i like this as well so the movie nights you know me and my daughter we do movie nights we used to do it every sunday but for the summer, we kind of like slacked up. I give her her little space or whatever, but we will be starting that up. We just had our movie night the other day. I think we did it on like a Monday or a Tuesday. So it'll be so fun to put those back into um, my planner. And these are vacation dinner with friends and family fun day. And uh, these, like I said, they have some of the repeating sheets in here. And I think, I want to say these are different colors, but let me make sure that they are. Okay, they they are the same color, but this one has silver foil and this has gold foil. And then you have your boxes here with the holographic on here. I love that. And you have some more boxes, but yeah, this is the smaller version of this one so because it has to put mascara keep it simple i can't adult today so yeah this is so cute and this is another one of the same pages and you have your appointment meeting volunteer i am so loving this this is the paper version of the stickers the ones before that was paper as well and then you have your washi tape here and then you have some boxes in which I love the boxes. And then you have your um, stickers here. These are circle stickers with a flat top. And I am so excited to use these in my happy planner when I do my planning. Um, but yeah, guys, if you are into the stickers, go ahead and go over. This is a great way to get your, your planner uh, sticker haul um up if you would like to instead of purchasing happy planners because i know happy planners are a little bit more on the expensive side but it is worth it to me as well i also catch those a lot of those books on sale now if it's something that i really want i will pay the full price for them but a lot of times i catch those on sale as well i will um Try to find the links to these if they have them. I know I just go to my Hobby Lobby to purchase these. I know they don't have a website for Agenda 52 as of right now, but you can find these on HobbyLobby.com um, if you don't have a Hobby Lobby in your area. And you can just order them and have them shipped to you. Um, but they don't show the inside of these books. So I'm just going to do a real quick flip through so you guys can see what these are so we can get on into the planners. So this is the girls, like I said, it's the fashion. And these are the books that you can use for two different planners. And um, because they have two of the same sheets. Now it says 30 sheets, but in all there are 15 different sheets. So keep that in mind. Also, when you are purchasing these books, but again, they add a great price point. So these are so cute to me, y'all. When I've seen this, I just had to have it and they only had one. I would have grabbed about two or three, but I know every time I go to Hobby Lobby, I probably will try to see if they have this book available because I love the fashion and that is something that I want to incorporate into my planner spread. So let's do a quick, quick flip through for this one. So she have her babe, y'all look at the skirt and the shirt. This says, get it girl. This shirt says fabulous. And this says, Glam Goals, I Speak Culture. I Speak Couture, I'm sorry. I Speak Couture. And then her shopping bag. Yeah, I just love this. And she's going shopping. Then her little coffee cup, whatever you call that. I don't know because I don't drink coffee. But it's cute. And I like a little fun little drink. So, and I add those. And oh, look at this purse with the credit card sticking out. So, this is all about going shopping here. So, if I feel like shopping or if I want to just 
have a, you know, one of those days where you just want to go shopping, but you on a budget, we balling on a budget. I'm just going to put this on my spread. So you have your boxes here and these are so cute. And it says, wherever my stilettos take me, that is so cute. And a girl got sparkle. I love this. Clean everything, your, but lipstick first. I'm not a huge lipstick wearer, but I am a lip gloss wearer. So I will put that on there. I love it. Before my coffee, I just can't. Oh my God, that is so cute. I can't wait to do my script, spread with this. Um, it says Pizza Queen and Pool Party. I just went to a pool party and this says babe. They have a babe on there? Yeah. So, um, like I said, you have two of the same pages. So, you can use these in two different planners if you want to. Or if you like a sticker so much, you can use it in a different spread. So, and this is your office uh, spread. This is so cute. Everything all thing bossy here. It is cute. Oh, and it does say like a boss up there. And this is your second sheet. And these are basically some icons here. So we have two of these. And this is your workout theme. So if you decide to do a spread, you have basically your things already laid out here. Your thing that you need to put on your layout. I don't know if somebody want to do um, a workout layout and that is my that might be something that I, I decide to do just do a um for a whole week just do a thing for workout uh that'll be so cute and then you have your second one and then you have some more boxes bows over bros it's all worth it with weights messy buns getting stuff done your beauty sleep train like a girl so this book is all about girly things you have your um, picking that polish up here as well. And this is so summery, so beachy, guys. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this will be, this gives me vacation vibes. Vacation vibes. Let's go get in a pool again. Uh, and then you have some more of your icons. So coffee date, workout date night, sleep in, cleaning day, party workout, gym day, movie night, vacation, just to name off a few. And you also have two of those. And then here's just some outside fun things. Um, musical. These are so cute. And then you have that on two pages. Your second page as well. And then you have more boxes. Your lazy day. Me time. Replenish makeup. I know some of y'all wear a lot of makeup. So you know when to go makeup shopping. <laughs> Call me sassy pins. Be brave. Be fierce. Life is too short. To have boring hair. Oh, that's cute. Okay, makeup night, girl night, polish, nail polish, dress up, feeling pretty. That's all thing girls' nights. Okay, and then you have your second page. And all things cleaning, guys. When I saw this, I was like, I was really, really so. Look at this washing machine, guys. We going we can do like um when you do spring cleaning, just you know how you call it spring cleaning. We can do that weekly cleaning right there or clean for the weekends. Yeah, we can use that, and I love that. Let's get this laundry done. So you have some arrow icon stickers in different colors here. And that's your second sheet. And then you have your Miss Sassy. Oh, y'all look at this. Look at this telephone booth. Do y'all remember the telephone booth back in the day? Now, we didn't have them this cutesy here where I live at, but we did have telephone booths. And I think they removed them all. And look at here. Look at the Yorkie. I can use this for my pup. And she has like all kinds of makeup stuff here. So cute. Oh, look at the spa day. This is me time. I love this bathtub. When I seen this bathtub, I just had to have it. I don't know. If I didn't like nothing else in this book, y'all, I really like the bathtub. Don't ask me why. I just thought it was so cute. I can just try to maybe cut off, um, print off a girl and I can just kind of sit her in there with the um with some of the stickers that i make i'm gonna try to find something to put there for when i can reuse this and these are just basically some of the girls all right so let's get into oh that was the girls the girls with the s and so this one is girl i'm just gonna do a quick flip through i'm not gonna do any talking because i'm knowing this video is not supposed to be that long but we are getting there um so basically yeah i'm just gonna let you see this one
and it is killing me to not talk about this guys this is so cute oh look at your icon girls y'all i don't think i can do it the icon girls they are so cute they're so sassy so so sassy girls run the world got that friday feeling i love that it's never too late for brunch it's never too late it's never too late Oh, look at them. Oh, did they change clothes? Let me see. It looks like they changed clothes and their hair. Did they? Yes. They did. They're so cute. It's the sassiness for me. Okay. So I have two of those. And then your boxes. These are paper stickers. The ones in the front was the transparent. Um, I didn't mention that. And this one has the appointment, so you can check off your hair and your nails, or if you get your hair and nails did. On the same day, you can check both of those. Vacay mode, workout, and girls' night out, and date night shopping. And then you have some little print, black and white print, prints. Some black and white prints there. And I did a black and white spread um last week and that would have been cute on there i did not record that spread because i was trying to get back in a groove of doing my spread so i kind of backdated for july and look at these big boxes i love these and it says yes i did it and appointments and then you have your washi tape on the side and shopping so when i say these are all things girls look at the leopard print i love it weekend plans i'm loving it i'm loving it i'm loving it oh that says girl talk in these circles and that would be perfect for my cousin y'all because when we get on the phone we can be not just talk to each other a day ago we still be on the phone for two three hours two or three hours so that would be cute okay oh i'm loving this i love the theme of this everything is so so beautiful in this book girls run the world do it yourself that is cute that is so cute oh look days until girls trip you can write in how many days to your girls trip that is so cute yes. i'm loving it i'm loving it and then you have your icon stickers and i think that's it but they are so cute see everything all girls and then this is the attitude. Um, this is the animal print. Let me open this because I didn't open it. All right. So this is the animal print foiled um 30 sheets with 1146 pieces and when i picked this one up i was so upset because i did a spread kind of on this color and i really could have used this guys this is leopard print um and it is pink and green i did a spread this exact same color and i was so upset when i seen this but i am going to do this spread again with these colors later on down the line i don't know if it's going to be this year or next year but i will definitely be using this and the thing that i loved about this one not just because of the colors it says um weekend highlights i really love that i really love that embrace your wild side attitude is everything okay so you have your second sheet here as well and guys look at how cute this is Look at it, girls night out. Now this book, I did not flip through when I purchased it because I seen this front page and I knew that I wanted that page. If nothing else worked in this book, those pages was going to work. But it looked like the color is going all the way through and these are transparent stickers. So it looks like they have all their transparent stickers on the front, in the front of the book. So that is cute. Um, don't forget your worth. Uh, what is this saying? Enjoy the whole process. Enjoy the whole process. That's cute. Take a little moment. 
and you have the same sheet for the second time and you have this page as well so you have a focus and you have brunch and today hello weekend those are cute i'm loving the fonts in this book you guys know i love my cursive fonts and uh, there's another one okay girls they say girl don't be afraid to be wow i need that <laughs> Out with the O, in with the bold. Oh, that is so cute, y'all. Look at this print, this animal print. I'm so loving this. I cannot wait to do my spread, y'all. I already got it in my head. What I want to do. Okay, here are some boxes. All right, some more boxes. I, I love the um, stickers in here. They have cute little stickers, y'all. This is like a snake skin. Don't make me go pick up another one of these books. This was the last one they had. So I think this would probably be another one that I would pick up when I go in there. This cute. I love this snake skin washi tape. That is dope. Okay, so you have your some more stickers here, smaller stickers. Um, gold mitts. Uh, what does this one say? You are amazing. So own it. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. And I love this. Y'all, I love this. And it kind of stands up off the page. So when you rub it, you can feel the print of it. And these are on paper. And y'all, this is definitely one of my faves. Y'all, they, they really did this one. I love this. And now all I need is some animal, um, so the actual animal like leopards or now I have to find a jungle book with the animal on it. This would be so cute. Chores, loving this today, priority vacation, your day off stickers. This is so cute. Y'all look at this. I'm, I'm just so in love. Oh my God. I may have to print off some plain boxes with these colors to go with this. And it's like, this is like, for the, I wonder if I can do a whole spread out of this one book. I bet I can. I'm going to try it one day. So, yes. I am loving this. All right. So, they have great quotes in here. Great, uh, great icon stickers. They have great functional stickers, boxes. Everything is great. So, we're going to do our last one. This is called B-Foil. Oh, let me go back to this one. And this one is the animal print animal print i so so love it i'm so ready to use that right now so this one is going to do bees fold um this is 52 sheets with 473 stickers so i just picked this one up just because i picked that other one up i didn't look through this one to see what it was but i just bought two so i can just make it the 4.99 almost you know um but I did kind of, I thought it went with one of the planners that I picked up as well. But I don't think it did once I looked at it. But it didn't. But it's cute. These are paper, paper stickers. And these are just, you know, they. this is very springy. If you like bees and flowers and honeycombs, these are cute. And I'm pretty sure I can incorporate this somewhere. They are so cute. I love the color scheme of this. And I think they actually had a planner that match match this book. And they had a planner to match. Um, they had sticker books to match some of the other planners as well. So, yeah. They look so cute. The washi tape. The icon stickers. Oh, and these are the transparent here. I love this. Be true to yourself. Life is lovely. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> be brave. This is cute. This is so cute. You got your hair appointment, laundry day, coffee day, and this is payday. I'm not sure what that actual icon is, though. And that's cute. Your grocery shopping. More floral. And then you have more icons. You got girls night, earrings, date night, tidy up. Payday, and that's the same at the bottom. And that is it. 
So I'm pretty sure they had a larger version of this one. They probably just didn't have it at my Hobby Lobby because as you guys see in the beginning of the video, we were kind of um, empty. <laughs> And I've never seen it empty like that. So we are going to put these to the side. And we are going to talk about the planners from Agenda 52. So I picked up two planners. This was the this is the classic planner. This is a um 18 month and this is dated, and this is their tall planner. And this is also 18 months. But if you guys would look at the price point, $21 for your classic and $24 for this planner here. So, guys, already, this is a steal already. But you guys know I caught this at 40% off. So, this one was, I want to say it was $13 and this one was right under $15. Um... I picked this one up first because you guys know it was purple. So I picked it up. The insides, I liked it, but I would do a quick flip through. I love um, the way this planner is set up. It's so clean and so sleek to me. And I was very, very excited with my purchase. Now it does have the rings. Some people don't like rings, guys, but I can do any planner. Um, cause like I said, before I got into Happy Planner, I was all about my rings and it had to be these thick coil, these thick coils with, um, I, and I just, I just like it. Let's see how thick the book is. So you see how thick the ring is as well. And this is a laminated cover, hard laminate cover. So you have your year at a glance here and this is so cute. Um, it's so clean and I can, I have room to label my paydays for my work when I get paid from Etsy and when I get paid from YouTube and Amazon. I can add all of those here color-coded. I like that, but I don't think I will be using this for um, any of that. As of right now, I, I, I think I'm going to use it for my work planner because I bought it and then I purchased another one, that butterfly one. So, and I was going to give this to my daughter, but when she saw the butterfly, she wanted the butterfly. So, I'm not sure. I may be returning this one, which I, I don't think I will. It was $12. So, if I don't do a giveaway on this, I'll just keep it for my work planner for next year. Because I have to keep up with a lot of appointments. But the one thing that I did like in this planner is that, um, similar to my budget planner, I had just my dashboard here for on the tab and not the calendar on this side. So I did like that and I think that's what really, really sold me because that is exactly how my planner for my budget planner is. Like, yeah. And then we have your, um, your currently sheet. We're gonna call it my currently sheet because I know that's what they do for Happy Planner, but I'm going to say that for Agenda 52 because I feel like we need to start um, using these a little bit more because this one, this is what saves us money. Now, if you're just one of those people that have to take out your pages to decorate or to write on it, then Happy Planner would be the way to go. I think Agenda 52 has discounts, and if I do find one, I will pick up one, and then we'll do a review on that and compare it to Happy Planner. But until now, we will be working out of this one. So it has your notes this month. It already have the the um the holidays here. Then you have your special occasion and your birthdays. And I may be decorating this to how I want it. I may leave like for this month. I may decorate it for whatever month it is. Put some icon stickers or something there. Something cute or something fun, but nothing too big because this will be probably like I see in my work. Now, the the layout here, I thought it was kind of small. Now, compared to their other planners, they had some more for the classic size. They were kind of bigger or the numbers were kind of bigger. Um, so that was kind of a, eh, to me, but I still like it. And then they have the notes section over here and they incorporate the purple all through it. And this was the layout that I love because this is a layout I normally use. Uh, I am always, the horizontal 
um, user. So this one didn't have lines, but I still picked it up anyway because I can write my lines in there. And then I like the note section. Plus it has the box down here. So I know what, what week I am currently in, in the month. So I, I really like this one. So, and it just goes on with the same layout. And I always look at planners and I just think they are so clean. And that's what I look for, the cleanliness. And I it gives me room to decorate. If I wanted to decorate, if I wanted to put some boxes over here and decorate that, if I just wanted to kind of wipe this out, I have enough room to wipe that out. And I could put washi tape here and a little washi tape here. I can even put washi tape, you know, on here on my boxes the to break up the days. They are so cute and then the wording is so small if i wanted to wipe those out and put my wording stickers on there for the days of the week i can do that as well and then you have your notes page and i think for my notes page i think i will just write everything basically my dump for this for that month so i have to check to see where the notes page page is actually located so this page will kind of be for july but I'm not sure if I would use it for July. I'll probably just use this for July. I'll just dump everything that I want to do here. And I probably won't call it notes. I probably will wipe that out and put something else here. So I'm just going to flip through the tabs on this so you guys can see it. How cute this planner is. And you guys know I did go through this before when I picked it up. So I did look at the planner tabs. And they are double printed. I love that as well. Um says make today amazing oh this is cute i love this y'all know i'm into my purple so for november we have um a lavender color i want to say a lilac with silver and let's go to december strong and beautiful i love that strong and beautiful and silver foil let's go to january so you have uh, this deeper purple uh, with your silver foil. Those are flowers. All right, so you have Love Always. Y'all, I'm loving all of this purple. For March, you have another lilac color with your silver. For April, Love Yourself First. I love this. For May, I have, it's a purple rainbow. It's so neutral. I love this. I love it. For June, we have just some silver rainbow, silver foil rainbows. For July, keep it simple. For August, I have Dare to Dream in silver foil. That is cute. That is cute. For September, you just have a little cute picture there. So cute, see? Oh, I think we should go to October. So October has be kind, be humble, be brave. And that's cute. For November, you have some cute little artwork. And then for December, you have focus on the good. And then I think, oh, I, I knew it. I felt a little folder here. And I love this. You can keep some sticker sheets in here if you want to, or just some important things, whatever you feel like keeping back there. So that is for their classic size. And like I said, $21 even if you had to purchase this at full price. This is still a great price for this planner. It is 18 months, guys. 18 months. You cannot lose on this. This is just a win-win situation. And if you can catch it on that 40% and get it for $12, under $13 is what I'm going to say because I'm not sure how much it was. You can do the math um, to be sure, $21.99 and take away 40% and you will get your price and run over to Hobby Lobby and get it. Guys, I am not paid for this video. This is just something that I wanted to share with you all. Um, 
as far as finding something that you can plan on a budget that is something just cheaper it's cute it has good quality and everything so i am not being paid for this video <laughs> i just want to make sure i get that out there now you guys know i love um butterflies so when i saw this i think i ran in there to get um I, to, I went back in there to find one of those girls sticker books because i saw it but i didn't pick it up so I went back to get that because it was $5. So I went back to get that. And um, I looked down at their big planners, which I never paid it no attention. So I looked down and saw it was a butterfly. Oh, it's cute. I'm going to pick it up to see what it was now. When I opened it up, I'm just going to show you guys. But $24.99 for your big planner for 18 months, guys. So let's get into this. Do not fall in love with my planner like I did because I did. <laughs> okay, so the inside is, this is black, all black. I love that. Now, at first, I when I looked at it, I was like, oh, this is a dark color. I didn't want to get it, but I purchased it anyway. If you've seen in the, the video in the beginning, I had it sitting on the thing now. That was out of place because I sat that there, not because Hobby Lobby sat that there. I sat it there because I decided I was going to do a, a video on um, agenda 52 because like i said we don't have many videos about agenda 52 i don't even know many people that say that they use agenda 52 but this is like so worth my wild i really want to do something to work with these people um but um yeah i wish i could be an ambassador hmm i wonder if i can reach out to them i'm gonna try it um or how does that work when people do people contact you or how does that work or do you contact them but i think i'm gonna try i'm gonna look into that but i love this page the first starting off it has hello and your goal for your 2023 i love this and i love all the floral guys this right here is big i love this i love everything big guys and it is so clean to me and then you put their little flower here let me make sure I'm in frame. So we're going to flip this page real quick. So you have your page here. They did not put the notes up here, so you can put whatever you want to. Yeah, I might use this page for a little decoration or journal because this will be my everyday planner for this the rest of this year. Next year, I'm going to also finish using my Flyboss planner um, for the rest of this year as well. But I am going to be transferring a lot of things over into this just to make it um, just to put it to use because it does start in July. So I am loving this, 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 this tab. I, and I think it just took my breath away. I, I lost my train of thought because it's so beautiful. My daughter saw this and she's like, yeah, mama, I need that. And this was the only one they had at the Hobby Lobby. So I think I am going to either probably order her one online or go over to the next town to order it because she is also getting deep into planners. I think she, I don't know if she see how much it calms me down or how much I like doing it or how much I try to organize things around here. And if it don't have, if it's not in my planner, it didn't happen guys. So that's how much I really use my planner. So I am loving this um, tab. Okay, so we're going to get into our cover is basically the same thing in the classic size planner your notes your this month with your holidays special occasions and birthdays and we probably definitely be changing that up because i will be putting stickers in here because like i said i got to look at this every day and this planner spread it is enough to put my stickers on here whatever i'm doing because like i said i do not I, well i didn't say i do not write on my my um spreads here and i'm gonna show you guys just what i'm talking about i always put just icon stickers here let me grab my fly balls planner to show you guys a month okay so basically i pulled out january right so i basically will put my stickers here and then it'll tell me basically what if something happened that day so let's go to um currently to july so basically i just put stickers here i do no writing unless you know it's something like that but just so i'll know but if it's a sticker on there i know i did something that day it's i do something every day but it's like the most important things will come here like um 
right here where it says laundry. I know if I flip to July the 10th, it has um, that I did laundry and what all I did. If I um, wash my sheets that day or if I wash sheets and clothes or if I washed, um, if I wash like dish towels or something. So I put it there. Now I didn't remember to put it there every week. And now I did go through this week and I was like, oh, did I, did I not wash? But I know I did laundry um, on these days, but I don't think I just put the, put the icon sticker there. So don't think I'm just washing every two weeks guys. And I know I didn't have the sticker book this week. So uh, for this, so I didn't go back in, put the sticker there. But yeah, so I just always, put stickers there and I do my little washi tape. I do a little decorating in my book. So this page would be great, great, great for that. I can just put my little icon stickers on and I'll still have a little room if I want to add two or three. Now this is different for me. This is more of the dashboard layout. I have never used this, but I think this is something that I want to get into. I think it's enough space for me to write as well as for me to decorate. So we will see how that go and I will flip through to show you the rest of it so it has the holiday um on that day so i'll know you know when i'm planning what i need to do or what i need to not do and then the thing that i did like about this as well is the july on the side guys now if you have my budget book i have the same thing on the side guys and this is crazy because i was like oh i thought i was really making up something but it's like other people have the same idea but yes Okay, so this is the rest of July. And I'm noticing that the stickers are, I mean, the flowers are different each month. Yeah, they are different each month. I'm not sure if I'll keep these actual stickers or if I will cover it up with um, something else because I can always wipe this out and put another sticker there to make it my own. So that was kind of one of the things that I just didn't too much care for. But I do love that July, so it might stay. It might stay there. And look at this tab, y'all. This says focus on you. When I tell you the color scheme of this is excellent. They did this on this color scheme, y'all. I was too sold. I was too sold. And we're just going to flip through for the tabs because each layout is the same every month. And that is cute black flowers. I love that. Flowers in black. Oh, y'all, listen, 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 listen. This should be a cover. Know your worth. I love this whole thing, guys. I love this. Uh, October is going to be my favorite month. Well, let me keep, keep on flipping because it seems like it's getting better and better. And it has all the um, holidays here. And on each day, it has the holiday. Oh, Boss's Day is October the 16th. Yeah, I said the other one was my favorite. Oh my God, this is so breathtaking, y'all. If y'all need a planner, I would highly suggest you go grab an Agenda 52. $15, guys, you cannot beat this. Oh my God. Let your ideas bloom. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. I'm so loving this. Y'all look, I'm going to be carrying this uh, probably more than my A5. I might start carrying this with me every day. Stand out. And uh, for March, this is beautiful. Oh, my God. Fine beauty. For April, for May, it says on the day. Okay. I'll probably find a sticker that said Carpe Diem on there. <laughs> I would try not to decorate these tabs. Not too much if I decide to. So this is June. This is so cute. Whoever did this color scheme, big ups to you. I am loving this. I've never did a planner that's like so dark in the colors, but I love it. I love it. I love it. Be bold. That is cute. Look at that. If the artwork, y'all... For twenty four dollars, I will go pay twenty four dollars all over again just for this, because it's worth it. It's worth it. If I had to purchase this at twenty four dollars, I would have. Big dream, I mean dream big, y'all. Dream big, it's it's big. Dream big, and I still see it the wrong thing. Okay, so we look at this. 
when this is when i tell you this is beauty i'm so ready to start decorating it too let love bloom i am going to start working in this immediately <laughs> immediately this is beautiful good things take time <laughs> oh my god this is so beautiful look at that i love it all the way to the end let me see if this one comes with a folder like let's see it does and it's a black folder I'm so excited i'm so excited I'm so excited. It has Agenda 52. So this comes with a full-size folder. And then you have Agenda 52, guys. And I think my purchase <laughs> was one of the best purchases I've ever purchased with the planner. I'm so excited to get started with this. All right. So I am so excited. So yeah, this is a recap of everything that I purchased, everything that I talked about for Agenda 52. Guys, if you are in the business of uh, learning to plan, wanting to plan, go ahead and pick up these books on a budget because what we do over here, we ball on a budget. And I think I purchased all of this for I want to say under sixty dollars or right at sixty dollars, so I still had uh, um, almost sixty dollars left over, you know. So I may cash stuff it or I may go back to Hobby Lobby and try to find some more sticker books, which I probably don't need any more sticker books. But I know, no, I can go ahead and buy, purchase my daughter her book out of that $60 as well and then pick up her some stickers. So that's what I will do. I will give that $60 to her and let her buy whatever she needs for school to keep up with her homework and her school life. And she actually um, started her YouTube and she's doing more on TikTok. Um, so that'll help her be able to keep up with what she needs to be doing as well. So yeah, that worked out perfect. So I can buy planners for two people for the same price instead of buying one planner and then still having to go purchase my stickers later out through the year so I can just have everything at one time so I feel like agenda 52 is not advertised enough you know for um their product it is it yeah guys it's awesome they they have a great line um even though they're not as huge as Happy Planner right now, and I, they've been around for a while, I still think that they have the potential to get to where they need to be if more people are aware of it. And they, the thing that I really like about it is that they keep it affordable with great quality, guys. This is um, by far one of the great purchases that I have purchased in a planner, and I have plenty, plenty planners that I purchase. Basically, if I go to a store, I see a planner, I'll pick it up. Some planners I have um, on my planner shelf that I have never touched or never used, but I do have them. So, and they are outdated. And I was thinking about maybe trying to go wipe them out and redecorate it and make it, you know, fit. But I am so, so excited to start working in Agenda 52, guys. Um, but for what it's worth, if you are into planners or you're trying to get into it, you don't have to take my word for it. You can just go see for yourself, guys, that I think this would be a great fit. I love it. And I will definitely be doing an update um, once I start using it to let you guys know how it's working for me. And if I can actually do a spread in one of those, one of these, I will probably do that. I'm not sure because um it would be more personal things so i think this will probably be my catch-all everything in this one i'm not sure but yeah um if you are still here to the end of this video i think there may be some book icons or a pen icon i'm going to put an icon up top in this video and guys just drop that emoji in your comments let me know what you think 
about Agenda 52, um, the Paper Studio paper line from Hobby Lobby. Let me know what you think. What was your favorite item? Did you like the sticker books? Did you like the big planner versus the classic planner, the layout? They also have vertical layouts as well. I didn't want to get that one because I'm not going to use it because I have the happy planner to do the vertical layout to do my spreads, but I will be using a variety of Happy Planners Agenda 52. Now, I didn't find a recollection um, in Michael's because I do use recollections. I like their goals, their goals um, planner, but I cannot find all those in Michael's, so I don't know if they still carry that line in Michael's or not, but... Um, or in store period so i'm going to probably try to find those and yes i do use planners on top of planners on top of planners guys and i do keep up with them all i know people always be like how do you keep up with them all guys i usually set aside a day which was normally on sundays to do my planning but you know with all the, the my etsy store and trying to do my youtube videos and work on top of doing things around the house and you know being a single mother it got kind of hard so i kind of got out, out of my planning mode but i am definitely going to start back planning all the time because like i said i feel like my life was kind of in a spiral there for a minute and july is when i always try to get back on track so uh, that's when you will see me doing these kind of videos with the planner hauls, the sticker hauls is in July. I never really buy it in January. I don't really buy because I like to have everything in July getting ready for the next year, if that makes sense. I know it don't to some people, but I like to do that. And I was excited that I went ahead and went to Hobby Lobby to purchase these and I got them in July. So I can kind of backdate it and start um start july i am definitely going to go back and fill up my calendars and put what i had to do for july because i will be carrying this until next year to the end of next year so i want to be able to keep up with what i'm doing so i can see my growth and how much i'm keeping up with my, with my planning um so i appreciate you guys for stopping by if you enjoy anything in this video let me know in the comments down below i would greatly appreciate it the more that you come in and hit that like button that will put me in the algorithm and let youtube know that you guys really enjoyed this video and that will also give me um give me the okay to do more videos like this more planning videos i know this is budget but i also want to make sure we keep our life in order as well as our finances. So when you got your life in order, your finances will um, be easier to keep in order as well. But until next time, guys, you know, I want you to be blessed, Queenies. Bye.